So here's a quick project. Um, for a long time I've wanted something where I could set the air pressure using a digital device or analog or whatever and it would automatically pressurize whatever I want to pressurize to that air pressure, be it a car tire, a pneumatic air cannon, a truck tire, a truck tire, whatever. Like you sit there, you hold the air compressor thing, you take it off, you check the pressure. I think that's just dumb. Um, but it's what we have to deal with. And an automatic inflator like that at modern gas stations um, those are very expensive. I don't know if you can even get one for less than a couple hundred bucks. So in the past, I've had an inline regulator that I use. I connect the regulator, um, set the pressure, and then just walk away. Um, and that, that works. Um, but you get lower airflow as you approach the pressure the regulator is set at. Um, for instance, it's quicker to get a tire to 100 PSI if you have 120 PSI air going into it. But if you have a regulator in line, your target is 100 PSI, your source air pressure is 100 PSI. So it's just going to hiss and take longer to fill up. And honestly, I probably don't care about that. It's just the cool factor. This is way cooler. So anyways, the first step, like I had all the pieces figured out except how to measure the air pressure for very little money. That was the key. Um, so what you're looking at here on the screen is a Chrysler oil pressure cinder unit. Um, and what's nice about these are these are just like $11 on eBay, super cheap, super easy to use. This, uh, hopefully you can see my mouse. This clip right here is connected to my bench power supply at five volts positive. Over here, there's one you can't quite see at five volts negative. These alligator clips are going to my USB oscilloscope. Um, and you can watch, this is the reading from the USB oscilloscope. I was letting pressure drop and then it goes back up. Oh, and then the test fixture I'm using, I 3D printed this little part as an adapter from 1 8 inch National Pipe Thread Female to just a white stick that's close to a Schrader valve that the Ryobi air pump can clip onto. Super simple. So I like it. I'm happy with it. I couldn't find any obvious documentation out there on how to use this. Um, just so FYI, I did cut the connector off so I could figure out if it's even going to work. Um, if I build more than one, the next one I'll just get the, you know, the the wiring connector with wires from eBay as well. It'd be like $15 total for the two. So anyways, um, the pressure or the voltage scales from zero to five volts linearly with the air pressure, zero to 100 PSI. Um, I haven't actually verified it's linear, but it really looks like it. I mean, you can see here in this picture the way it slowly drops off. And you can even see there's a little bit of an arc to this drop off, and that's because the air pressure equalizes um, faster the greater the pressure differential so you can see the slope slowly you know there it gets lower and lower and lower and that's kind of what you expect I don't know if it's exponential decay I think it is not quite linear anyways doesn't matter so the next part once this is done and I have this working um, is now unfortunately I did test it on 3.3 volts because a lot of devices will work on lower voltage than they're designed for. So this is designed for five volts. When you lower it to three volts, um, it is still linear, but it caps the max pressure that it can read. I didn't actually test the lowest voltage. My guess is it would keep going down quite a bit. Um, but at 3.3 volts, the max pressure it could read was like 60 PSI. So unfortunately, that means I can't connect it to like a 3.3 volt, you know, a Raspberry Pi Pico or something. I need to go to one of the old school Arduinos that's still five volts. And there's ways around that, you know, I could use a, a voltage divider or, um, uh, what's it called, the, uh, you know, possibly with the analog reference pin set to 5 volts. I don't even know if that works. I've never done it before, but it might work. So anyways, this is, this is what I'm going to use for now. And then to turn the pressure on and off, um, air valves are, are somewhat expensive, but you can get manual tire pressure inflators, and you need one anyways to make this work, so you have the hose to clip onto the, the Schrader valve on the tire. Um, and so I want to set it up with just a servo that turns the handle on and off. So we're going for the cheapest possible, accurate, Arduino-powered, you know, um, tire inflator slash pneumatic cannon pressurizer. And, uh, so far, this part works, and now I have a source for a cheap air pressure sensor.